Hi everyone, my name's Jan and here's a short uh, vinyasa flow sequence um, which will include um, Ardha Chandrasan um, and a couple of other things on the way just to get the blood pumping and um, hopefully a bit of a smile going. Um, so when you're ready, we're going to start in child's pose. So coming over when you're ready onto your knees and up to you whether you want the knees together or knees wide. Uh, very personal, I'm going to start with knees wide but feel free to keep the knees together and have the hands reaching forward. Relax, relaxing the head towards the ground, maybe the forehead grounds. Take a couple of breaths here. So that sense of finding that even breath in and even breath out. With the forehead grounded, maybe a little roll from side to side. And just get a sense of your body today. Allow your ujjayi breathing to develop and allow that breath to even out as much as it can. And see if you can notice the belly, the ribs and the chest moving as you inhale. And then the chest, ribs, belly as you exhale. And allow that feeling to be like a wave of breath coming up to the chest as you inhale and then releasing out to the belly as you exhale. And there's this rhythmic quality to your breathing as you settle and the mind settles on the breath. And then keeping hold of that rhythm, we're going to walk the hands to our right until we find a sense of stretch on the left side of our body. And then when that's enough for you, draw down, relax the forehead. Maybe draw that left hip back and breathe here. That wave of breath, nice and steady in. Nice and steady out. On an inhale, walk back through center and then walking the hands over to your left until you feel a stretch on the right side of the body. And you might feel like the hips want to follow, but see if you can draw that right hip back, left hip forward, and then relax the head. And continue to find that wave of breath. Coming back to centre as you inhale and coming up to tabletop and then walking the hands further out, coming into puppy pose. So you might like to, if the knees have been wide, just bring the knees in line with the hips, but take the arms a little wider, keep the hips lifted, chest might come towards the mat, chin or the forehead and breathe here, just opening up a little more, a few breaths here. These warm-up postures, key to any practice, bringing you into your body, linking the movement and the breath. And then from your puppy pose, your heart melting pose, you're going to come into your tabletop. And then start to think about moving into your cat cows. Once you have the alignment set up, and you can feel the tops of the feet, the hands pressing lightly down. Lengthen through the elbows, not locked. And then inhaling, dipping into the belly, gazing forward. Exhaling, rounding the spine. And my preference here is eyes closed always. 
and if that feels like something you'd like to do, then closing the eyes and really enjoying the first few movements through the spine. And just let these movements develop. Notice how the back feels as you move. Good. And the next time you come into your cat pose, make that your last time. And then flattening out into a tabletop, sliding your right foot back. Pressing the heel away and then reaching the chest forward, coming into one long line. Slide the left arm forward, bring the arm in line with the ear, reaching forward with those fingers as you press back in the heel, and then lifting up, coming into our Superman pose. Inhale and exhale here, and then as you next exhale, bring the elbow and knee in towards the body, and as you inhale, extend out. Back into that one long line and that same feeling of length and strength. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, extending out. Exhaling. And inhaling. Let's do two more. So we're going to do five each side. And we don't rush through these postures, keeping integrity with the length of the breath. Exhaling, coming back to tabletop. I like a round of cat-cow in between sides, so if that speaks to you in any way, then maybe take a couple of rounds of cat-cow, maybe move through the head and the neck. And then tabletop. Slide your left foot back, tuck those toes under, and really think about the heel drawing back. Then draw the energy through the leg, up into the center, tummy in, reach the chest forward, Head in line with the spine, and then right arm comes forward, thumb up. Reach through the fingers as you press back into the heel. Tummy in, lifting up one long line. Good. Exhaling, bringing the elbow and knee in. Inhaling, extend. And the leg stays the height of the hips. It's not a, a back bend. We're not chucking the leg up and getting into a real back bend. Try and think about length and strength through the whole line of the body. Two more. Lovely. Exhale, hands come down back into your tabletop. Finish off with a couple of rounds of cat-cow. And then tuck your toes, come into downward dog. That lovely moment of extension. And these first few breaths of your downward dog are just for you to play around. So there's no instructions from me other than to breathe. And then after a couple more breaths, we're going to find a little bit of stillness. Nice bit of length and strength through the arms. Hugging those upper arms in, kind of wrapping those upper arms in, lifting the buttocks up and back, little bend in the knees, heels drawing towards the ground. Oh, that feels nice. Gaze towards the back toes or maybe to the knees, depending on how it feels in the neck. Take a breath in stillness. And then inhale, draw forward to plank. Lengthen through the body. Exhale, lift to downward dog. 
Inhale, draw forward to plank. Length and strength through the whole body. Exhale, lift from the buttocks. Downward dog. Inhale, draw forward to plank. And this time as you exhale, take your left knee to the ground. Kick out your left toes. And as you inhale, come into our modified side plank. So you can stay here with the back foot grounded. Or inhale, lifting that extending leg, coming into our modified side plank here. Hold here, length and strength. Keep pushing the ground away, keep the tummy in, long sides here. So this is the essence or one of the parts of our Ardha Chandras and these long sides and this extended active leg. Exhale, hands come to your mat. Come back to plank pose. Take a full inhale here, lengthen the whole body. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, hug the elbows in. Inhale, come forward. And as you are ready to come into a low cobra. Exhale, hands behind you, palms down. And as you inhale, come into a baby locust. So quite low, but lengthened and active legs. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck your toes. Inhale through low plank, elbows together. Exhale, back to downward dog. Little pedal through the heels here. And we go again. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, right knee releases. Kicking out the right ankle, roll over onto your left heel. And inhale, stacking the shoulders, coming into our modified side plank here. This left foot can stay grounded, or you can lift and extend, flexing into the left foot, reaching through the fingers. Tummy is contained. Head is in line with the spine. Breathing here. Well done, and then as you exhale, come back, setting up for plank pose. Inhaling as you reach, heels back, crown of the head forward. And then exhale, release through the elbows this time, all the way to your mat. Inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, release the hands behind you, palms down. Inhale, come into locust, still low, think more about length. And strength. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck the toes. We're working the arms on the way out here, so elbows close. Inhale is low plank, you're long and strong. Then push the ground away, lift from the buttocks. Really think about that transition into downward dog. Breathe here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, look forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee to cross. Inhale, extend. Keeping the leg lifted. Inhale, come forward to three-legged plank. Exhale, release through the elbows all the way to your mat. Nice and strong. Inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, hands behind you. Inhale, into locust, active from the toes through to the crown of the head. Gaze is down. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck your toes. Elbows draw close as you inhale, low plank. Lift from the buttocks, exhale, downward dog, well done. Take a breath in and out here. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, look forward, create the length in the body. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, chest, looking forward, long spine. Inhale, extend nice and slow, full extension, and then exhale, cross. Inhale, extend, 
Keep pressing that heel away as you inhale to come forward to plank. Really reaching the chest forward. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, cobra pose, well done. Exhale, hands behind you, palms down. Inhale, locust pose. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck the toes. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, downward dog. Well done, everyone. Breath in and out here, a little pedal through the heels. And then slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Coming into a forward fold, taking the yogi toe lock. Inhale, reaching the chest forward. Feel the weight even in the feet and then exhale, take the elbows wide and draw the body close. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Slowly use the whole of your exhale to draw the elbows wide and release. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly elbows wide, draw yourself down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen last time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up halfway, holding for a breath here. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale here. And then walk the hands up the body until you can bring the shoulders up, back and down as you exhale. And take a move through the head and the neck, just releasing through the head and the neck. Good. Take an inhale and an exhale there. Come into Tadasan at the front of your mat. Get that sense of length through the body. And just bring some awareness to the natural curve of your spine. So I have a tendency to overly curve here and I find it beneficial to kind of lengthen my tail down. So what I want you to explore is does this area feel like it's compressed or that it has space? If you want more space, then maybe a little lengthening of the tailbone as you reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and we find Tadasan. As you inhale, draw up. Nice, tall lift. As you exhale, bend and fold. Coming into three sun breaths. Inhale halfway. Use all of the breath for all of the movement. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide. Come all the way up. And exhale, hands through the center. Let's do two more. Turn your prayer. Inhale, reach. Really reach up. Look up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Tummy comes to thighs. And we release the head. Sit bones lift. Inhale as we lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale as we fold. Inhale as we lift. Lead with the chest. Tummy in. And exhale, hands through prayer. Turning your prayer at the bottom of your exhale. Inhale, so the movement is continuous, just like you're breathing. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, hands through prayer. Good, a little bit more this time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back with your right foot. As you inhale, reach your chest forward. Think about the sides of the body long, tummy drawn in and chest reaching. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Hover the fingers coming into our runner's lunge. Keep the back foot committed. We're pressing out as we reach the crown of the head forward. And we hold here for three, for two, 
for one. And as we exhale, hands press to the mat, and that left foot becomes your three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee to chest, long spine. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee to cross. Inhale here. Extending. As you inhale, come forward, three-legged plank. Exhale, release through the elbows. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, cobra pose. Maybe a little higher if the back is warm. Exhale, hands release behind you. Inhale, coming into locust pose, active from the toes to the crown of the head. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck your toes. Inhale, low plank, working the arms on the way out, and then lift from the buttocks. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right leg through to the hands, dropping the left knee, releasing the left toes. Inhale, draw up, find Tadasana here. Exhale, stay. Inhale here. Exhale, find half split. Inhale, come forward, lifting up, squeeze into your left glute. And exhale, release. Inhale, come forward, lifting up. Maybe a little back bend here. Exhale, release. Inhale, come forward, lifting up. Last time, squeeze that left glute. Exhale, hands frame your front foot. You tuck your back toes and spring forward as you exhale into a deep forward fold. Inhale, sweep wide, come all the way up. Exhale, hands through prayer. Turning your prayer. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back with your left foot, lengthening the chest forward. Tummy draws in here. It helps you lengthen and find strength through the torso. You can keep the fingertips grounded or you can use the legs a little more. Keep lifting and lengthening forward. We're not dumping our body onto our thigh here. We're breathing and we're holding for three, for two. For one, exhale, press the hands down, step the right foot back into three-legged dog. Inhale here, exhale, right knee to right elbow, look forward. Inhale, exhale, right knee to chest, look forward. Inhale, exhale, right knee to cross. Inhale, well done. And here we go, exhaling as you lengthen through that top leg. And as you inhale, come forward into our three-legged plank. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Well done. Inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, hands behind you, palms down. Inhale, lift into locust. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck your toes. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, lift, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left leg through to the hands, dropping your right knee, releasing your right toes. Inhale, come into our knee lunge. Exhale, half splits. Reaching the chest forward. Inhale, come forward, lift. Maybe a little back bend. Maybe you take the mudra. Exhale, release. Inhale, come forward and up. Exhale, back half split. Inhale, come forward and up. Exhale, frame the front foot, tuck the back toes and spring forward as you exhale, next breath. 
coming into your fold. Inhale, sweep forward all the way up into your upward salute. And exhale, hands through prayer, releasing the hands to your chest. Separate the feet. I can feel my heart beating. So drawing the eyes to a close, let's come back to our breath here. Come back to that steady inhale and exhale. Well done. And then releasing the hands to the hips, come to the front of your mat. Find that feeling of Tadasan, that sense of lift, length in sides, contained tummy, nice little softness through the knees. Take a breath in and out here, coming into our standing sequence and our half moon pose. So hands to the hips, take a step off with your right toes, square the hips initially, stand tall. Turning the left toes out, sinking into your front knee, come into warrior two. And it's easy to be reaching forward all the time in our warrior two. So this back hand, let's imagine someone's drawing you back centering your body over in between the legs and then we're using the energy in the legs here so pressing and engaging the legs maybe the heels imagine you're dragging them towards one another you're drawing up through the center of the body nice tall spine but not letting the shoulders draw up we're relaxing and opening up this is a chest opener let's squeeze into our right glute a little sink a little deeper not forward Use the energy in your legs and gaze beyond the front middle finger. Hold here, breathing. Feel the shape that you've created with your body. Feel the energy in the legs. And then as we inhale, let's take our reverse warrior. Back hand can reach down or it can wrap around, opening up that back shoulder. If the, if the back hand finds the front thigh, a little tap down here can help you find a bit more length in the side body and stretch. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Inhale and exhale here. Keep the legs committed. And then exhale, elbow to knee. We're going to bring our hand from behind, reaching it forward, and then getting this idea of stacking the shoulder. So as the arm comes past the face, rotate that right shoulder back and this top arm is a natural extension of the leg. Imagine that the head is in line with the spine and that maybe you're pressing the tops of the shoulders, the crown of the head, the glutes into the wall behind you. So you've got a lovely strong line breathing here. Well done. As we inhale, come into our warrior two. Legs are still working. Straighten out through that front leg. Not locking the knee, reaching forward and coming into Trikonasana, but not necessarily so low here. Let's be a little bit higher today. Inhale and exhale, long sides. Top hand to the top hip. Gaze to your mat. Bend into your front knee, step your back toes in. Reach to your brick or to the mat. And as you inhale, slowly transition into your half moon pose. Take a moment here, we're here for a couple of breaths, so move slowly. Think about stacking those shoulders just as we did a moment ago. The top arm reaching up from the shoulder. The back leg nicely active. The crown of the head reaching forward, lengthening the sides. Lovely half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Feel the shape that you've created, embrace the wobble. And then let's see if we can moon land that back foot to our mat. So bend into your front knee. Reach forward as you extend back. Little moon landing, not bad today for me. Inhale, coming up. And then exhale, frame your front foot. Your left foot becomes your three-legged dog. Nice, lifted left leg. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, look forward. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to chest, looking forward, long body. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to cross. Inhale, extend. Exhale here, find that full extension of that lifted leg and then come forward to three-legged plank. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Well done, cobra pose. Low or even mid cobra if that's in your practice. Holding here for three breaths. Soft through the shoulders and breathing. As you exhale, release the chest. Release the hands behind you, palms down. Inhale, come into locust pose, three breaths here. Extending through the fingers, through the toes. Maybe think about the little toes, just working the way to the outer edges of the mat. Tummy stays drawn in. And then exhale, hands come forward, tuck your toes. Elbows draw close, working the arms on the way out. Low plank, elbows close. Lift from the buttocks, exhale. Downward dog. Whew. Breathe here, a little pedal through the heels. And then step, walk or jump towards the front of the mat. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep wide all the way up. And exhale, hands through prayer. Well done. Coming to the front of your mat, working through the other side here. Hands at the hips. Take a big step off with your left foot, squaring the feet initially. And it's a good chance to just check the width of your stance. So maybe wrists just over the ankles there or thereabouts. And then turn the right toes forward, left toes in, arms out wide, sink into your right knee. And again, if you feel like you're reaching forward already, anticipating, then draw yourself back. Stay centered. Adjust your feet until you feel like the back leg is working as hard as the front leg is working. Commit to both legs equally. Draw the heels maybe lightly towards one another as you lift through the center of the body, not letting these shoulders hunch up, letting them relax and reach out through those fingers. Inhale here and exhale. Take your inhale into your reverse warrior. The wrap of this back arm is optional. Opening up that back shoulder without the knee drifting in. We want to keep that knee where it is. And then that little tap down on that front thigh can help you lift and create length and create more of a side bend here. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, elbow comes to the knee. That's there to help you lift again out of the pose. So not slumping down, but pressing lightly to help you lift. Lengthen the sides, crown of the head forward, and take this back arm forward, palm faces down. As you reach, it passes the face, rotate your left shoulder back, and then have the hand be a natural extension of your extended back leg. So not necessarily reaching over and down, but reaching up and away. Breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Still committed to those legs equally. And then as we inhale all the way back, reverse warrior. Exhale, widen and straighten. Inhale, reach. And exhale, come into Trikonathan. Top arm up. And again, it's these long sides, head in line with the spine, reaching out. Considering our transition into Ardha Chandrasana now, top arm to the top hip. Bend into your front knee, step your back toes in, find your brick or reach to the ground. And then inhale, coming up slowly with control, extending out through the back heel, 
rotating that top shoulder maybe lifting the top arm if that's something that doesn't destabilize you at the moment holding here lengthen forward as you extend back just as we do in our plank pose here our side planks get that feeling enjoy the shape that you're in and then see if we can moon land by using the front knee bend into that front knee then this front arm, reach it forward as you extend back. You can almost hover here. And then slowly release back into a moon landing. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, framing your front foot and making that right foot become your three-legged dog. Last flow here. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Look forward, long and strong. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale to cross to the left knee. Inhale, extend. As you exhale, create as much length through that back leg as you can. And then keep as much of that length as you roll forward to plank. Long and strong here. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One, well done. Mid cobra if it's in your practice. Hold here, three breaths. Draw the tummy in. Feel the tops of the feet. And then exhale, release forward. We create length as we make the transition. And then come into locust pose, three breaths here. Final three breaths. Really well done. Exhale, hands come forward, tuck the toes. Coming up through low plank, last time here. Long, strong body. And then lift from the hips coming into your final downward dog press out through the heels let the head move and release and then exhale child's pose bringing the hands behind you rotating through the wrists letting yourself have a moment to gather the breath come back to that steady inhale and steady exhale Feeling the breath begin to settle. Maybe rocking the forehead from side to side. And then bringing the hands forward, lifting up just enough so that you can maybe separate the knees if that feels good and walk the hands forward. So coming back to where we started, having a lovely stretch out through the arms, lengthening the chest. Breathing here. Coming up, finding our tabletop, bringing the knees underneath the hips. Taking the right arm out to the side, gathering it through, threading the needle, and coming down onto the cheek and the shoulder. Taking the left arm forward or wrapping it round, closing the eyes. Unwrapping, coming up. Take a round of cat cow here. Actually, let's let's be rascals. Let's take more than one round. I kind of like this in between. So close the eyes and let's take five rounds of cat cow. And bring the eyes to a close and come back to that steady flow of movement and breath.
when you've done your five rounds. So please don't rush. It's just too lovely to rush these cat-cow movements. And then inhale the left arm out to the side and find your way to that shoulder release on the opposite side. Keeping the eyes closed can feel nice here too. Unwrapping as you next inhale, walking the hands back towards the knees, coming over onto one side and coming onto your backs, straight onto your backs. And there's a delicious full body stretch waiting there for you. Have a good stretch out each side. Just moving the brick out. Falling. Inhale and exhale. And then bring the right knee in towards you. Have a little roll through the right ankle. And then keeping a bit of containment through the tummy, take that right leg up towards the ceiling, pointing and flexing. And then we're going to draw up and have a little drawing in of that right leg. And I'm holding on quite close to the ankle, but please remember you can come to the calf or the thigh, and there's no requirement to lift up at all. Keep extending through your left heel. Keep both legs actively involved in the shape. And then exhale, come into half happy baby on this right side. And the left heel still extending away. You've got a parallel, sorry, a vertical shin. And the sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. And you're going to be pushing down with the hand into the feet. But I also want you to push up into the hand with the foot. And that's a game changer. We tend to draw down, but we don't necessarily always push up at the same time. So maybe just explore that in today's posture for the next three breaths. Leg feels much more involved here. And then when you release, release that knee to the center, give it a hug, and then take a gentle twist, taking that right knee across the body. Right arm can extend out from the shoulder. I've got limited room, I'm quite close to the wall, but feel free to just explore a variation of this twist. Close the eyes. And breathe. Come back through center. One last final hug. And then take that right leg away. And let's draw the left knee in. Roll through the ankle. I kind of love these coming out of our practice movements. Extending up pointing and flexing. Good places to warm down. Have a nice little stretch out. Focusing on the breathing here as we kind of wind our way to relaxation. Keep lifting the chest, nose towards the shin if you're lifting up. Most of all, keep breathing. And then take your half happy baby on this left side. Again, the knee comes to the outside of the left rib cage. And we might be drawing down with the hand, but I'm also inviting you to push the foot into the hand. And it feels completely different to my, to, in my body. Keep that right leg active. It's easy to forget about that right leg, so keep, keep it involved in the process by extending out through the heel. Releasing, drawing that knee in more to the center line, 
and then taking a twist, left knee across the body. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees in and take full happy baby now, drawing the lower back towards the mat, knees wide. A little roll from side to side. And then from here, releasing big toes together and then a lovely little set of circles, three or four in each direction. Just feels so nice on the back here. Well done. And then bring the soles of the feet to your mat. And just take a moment to feel grounded. So feel all 10 toes. Feel the seat, the sacrum, the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Lift the head and just tuck the chin, feel the back of the head. Take the arms at the side of you, maybe a little bit away from the body, and consciously decide on palms up or palms down. Palms down is definitely more grounding. Take a deep breath in. Hold the top of your inhale. And then a big sigh out. <sighs> Do that twice more. Inhale. Hold the top of your inhale. And a big sigh out. <sighs> Final time. Big breath in. Big sigh out. <sighs> And then release the legs. Either keep the hands where they are or bring the hands onto your body. Slowly rock the head from side to side. Release the tongue into the roof, from the roof of your mouth. Let your ujjayi breathing softly fade away. Give the toes a little wriggle. Unclench the buttocks. Relax through the arms and the shoulders. Soften the face. Let a little smile come into the lips. Soften the eyes. Feel yourself at peace with your body and your breath. If you'd like to stay longer here with your body and your breath, then feel free to stay for as long as you might like. The video will end. For those of you that want to come up to seated, just take a moment to bring some gentle movements to your fingers and toes. Draw the knees in nice and slowly. A little hug and a squeeze, a little rock from side to side. And then you might come over to one side. I quite like a little rock up and down the spine as I'm coming out sometimes to bring me up to seated. Sit tall, relax the shoulders. Take the hands away from the body, exhaling together. 
and then gathering up the sense of peace and calm from your practice as you inhale as you exhale draw that sense of peace and calm down towards you release the palms to your heart center hold on to that sense of peace and calm for as long as possible sending you love namaste